since a measles case was discovered last week in a man traveling through the Boise Airport, Southwest District Health has been working hard to keep the disease from spreading. The Idaho Department of Health and Welfare says the man was unvaccinated and exposed during international travel. Yeah, we are concerned for a community-wide outbreak. That's why our team goes out and we identify those contacts of the case to limit exposure. Ricky Bowman with Southwest District Health says in Idaho it is very uncommon to see a measles case. There's been only three cases in Idaho in the past two decades. In fact, the case rate has been going down. In the U.S., there were over 1,200 cases in 2019, which dropped to 121 cases in 2022, and now only 22 to date in 2023. If we do see it, it's not like, oh my goodness, it's measles. It's something that we can be prepared for. Measles causes a red blotchy rash that can lead to fever and sore throat that spreads easily and can be serious and even fatal for small children. Because of medical advances, Bowman says that the disease is manageable. Wanting to know if people were concerned about a possible outbreak, I spoke with people in downtown Nampa. I'm not worried. Um, I was vaccinated as a kindergartner. Um, I guess I can thank my mom for that. Oh, heavens no, I'm not worried. Measles has been around. I had it. My, my son had it. My grandson just recently had a case of the measles. And so, yeah, we have vaccines for them. Yeah, I would have to say the best form of protection is going out and getting that MMR vaccine. According to the Idaho Health and Welfare, the first dose of the vaccine is typically administered between 12 and 15 months of age and again at four to six years of age. And that has um, a 97 percent effective rate for presenting measles after two doses. As for the man who was found to be infected, we've learned he was hospitalized for a while but is now recovering at home. Reporting in Boise, I'm Alexander Huddleston, Idaho News 6.